Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Or quite a dramatic video and title, <laughs> but uh, it is uh, kind of we're gonna check out some Indian singers. Uh, I think probably in some a cappella settings because they're saying like without auto tune or real voice, um, and then some singers from Pakistan. Now that we've talked, done podcasts on both, and we've done some familiar, we are more familiar than we've ever in the past. Definitely don't know everyone, but we are more familiar now than ever with some names and some of the artists. It would be interesting to check out. Uh, the similarities between some styles that, yes. that happen in both industries. And I think they're going to put them against each other versus that's all bollocks, who cares, it's music. But <laughs> it is interesting to see, you know, sort of like the, the, the what do you call it, the points of references that people have in mind mm -hmm. and what they sound like a cappella or without autotune. And, and it has been really talked about lately, so let's have a look. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, is Valeska's birthday month. Indeed. And for those reasons, we have launched... Valeska's limited edition merchandise, like this hoodie <laughs> with the limited edition designs. And it's also signed by Walucha. Yeah. So if you missed last month's, you can still get her signature, which is quite nice. And you can still support the podcast. These are obviously only available until the end of March. Valeska's birthday is actually on the 28th of March. So uh, by the 31st of March, you won't be able to get them ever again. Uh, we appreciate all the support on all the previous drops, but this is the latest drop. You can get it at fitchfridaystore.com and thank you so much. Goodbye. Adios. We really requested it, actually. Yeah. Okay. But we weren't too sure whether to do it, but let's let's give it a watch. Okay. Tulsi and Sihar. She's beautiful. That's still crazy. They, they sound like that, genuinely. Yeah. That's really so cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Ah, Mustafa. 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 We're actually not familiar with that. What song is that? I like it. <laughs> I like how this video is edited though. Because you have they they've picked so far the same environment for both. Yeah. So it's a really That's cool, fair. easy like point of reference from the both of them. I like this video so far. I like Darshan a lot. Yeah, me too. Darshan. Ooh boy. And similar registers as well. Ooh, I love that. That's a complex, that's a really complex song though. But right off the bat, you can see the very physical differences in the in the larynx approach to the singing. Especially in the previous one, you could tell too, right? Absolutely. Well, you could hear right off the bat that between the girls, you had in the Indian... in the Girls. <laughs> Did he sound like that? Yeah. Oh, sorry, in the girls. <laughs> between, <laughs> between the Watching girls. Too much picky blinders. Yeah. <laughs> too much. Um, but between the girls, you could see the different set of larynx position and, and how... They they provide different sounds given the language, right? So in pa with with the Pakistan, you have a throatier, more breathy approach to the singing phrases, and the larynx actually moves a bit more. Yeah. It shifts a little bit more physical than it is an in Indian singing. It's really intriguing because the roots would be the same. Yes. yes, the evolution throughout the years have maybe impacted them so much in terms of their own um, individualities. Yes, and I think the languages are slightly different in the way that they approach it. So yeah. so they sound a little bit more, uh, there's a lot more back of the throat work right, in right. the diction. So there's a bit more of like, <laughs> like a breathier scratch in the back of the throat. This is good. I wish someone was to do this as well with like, uh, maybe perhaps some um, 
if, if they were able to find, maybe we can do this ourselves. Uh, we can find some singers maybe from the West that are very sort of pinnacle. Yes. And put them side by side with some, you know, either Pakistan or India. Not to compare, but to have a point of reference no, and not, seeing different well, no, techniques. Definitely to yeah. compare the technical approaches to singing. Well, because I yeah, that's essentially what what we we'll that's essentially what we're doing here. Yes. But not to compare quality, because at the end of the day, I mean that their point would be to try and find singers at the same level. Yes, which is what this video is so yeah, good at. At the same level, rather than putting like unfair comparisons. Like you're putting like a Dimash and then I don't know, <laughs> a, a Tory Lane. So it's like, <laughs> like mate, these are two completely different worlds. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? But yes. yeah, that that's essentially what I think the video is trying to do as well. Just which technical differences, good. which is good. Mm, and I'm sure good. other coaches have probably enjoyed this as well. Mm, I understand why it's been so uh, talked Requested, about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a tattoo of her. <laughs> it looks really nice though. Suits him. Suits him, yeah. Bravo. Oh okay. shit! Fuck, this guy's unbelievable. He is so shocking to hear. Similar vocal textures too. That's really cool. <laughs> oh, Neha, Neha. and Ama. <laughs> I love how she's using like a fucking filter like every Snapchat goes when they're 12 years. Oh, you know, but, you know the little heart to Maybe this is old. Maybe oh, She wasn't is... 16 there. No, but this is from the, the Snapchat, Snapchat, Snapchat era. Yeah, dude. Do any of you still use Snapchat? Do you still have it? Yeah, wherever you're watching Some from. Some people still do. No, also, different parts of the world use, predominantly use different social platforms. What do you use the most? Yeah, like for example, in the Philippines, Facebook's really popular. Yes. Uh, in like, for example, South America, Facebook is still very actually it's a South America YouTube is a product like number one no as Instagram a as a Instagram. as a as a social Instagram right. yeah uh, America they use a lot of the Twitter situation Twitter is very fucking famous yeah. it's the same as the UK um, Europe in general that's why it's so hard like in South general. America is kind of easier to box for some reason um, but Asia for example is bloody impossible oh, yeah. to box because there's so, I don't know what you guys use and in India for like example and then there's like different uh, different social media platforms that are popular in each country like like, like in in China they've got their own things their own oh, yeah, socials China is because they can't use anything else yeah but it, also in Korea they have their own socials as true. well that's true Weavers it, and the and the a Vlife, bunch of others like, yeah and it's like yeah, they've they've got a bunch of other stuff. So, so I wonder what is a platform that we wouldn't think would be that is not as popular maybe here in the UK that it's really popular in, in India. Yeah. Or Pakistan or Southeast Asia. Let us know. Yeah. I like how she sings, you know. She deserves a lot of credit, probably more than people give her. That some people give because they don't get billions of views. She's great. Oh, I like her. She's good. I like Ama a lot. Okay, Please. I have to be completely honest. Send her through. I'd love to see her. I want to see more of her stuff. Yep. She is absolutely fantastic. She's got this like naturally melodic sound without losing the twanginess but still maintaining that swift softness that is grounded to the chest that's absolutely mind-boggling to me because the two techniques don't usually translate to each other really well it's actually quite hard to mix the both um and she's found that really cool 
in between. That's right, that's right. And that is so fascinating to it's, listen. It's intriguing as well because I think one of the hardest songs or maybe genres or industries in which a cappella would be one of the hardest would be the Indian or the Pakistani music yes. industries. Because the keys are just so complicated. And the phrases and, mm. and the, the length of them is kind of led by instruments such as the harmonium, yeah. you know, or, or guitars, Something that is acoustic continuous. guitars. Exactly, yeah. so... What the fuck? It is tough. So hard to do that a cappella, but anyway. Again, I, I have l- learning through you guys have been saying that a lot of these singers learned a cappella first. First, yeah, which is so, crazy, right? <laughs> which is which is it actually makes a lot of sense given the note accuracy. It helps you discover what you're capable of doing. True. Um, it's one of the hardest practices in singing, though. It's crazy. Learning a cappella. Hoo-hoo. Crazy. देखो करीब मिले हैं नसीब से आएगा पर ये फिर Without a doubt, one of our favorite discoveries 100%. that we've made. He's so resonant. With such ease. Easy. He was born to sing. Yeah. It's great. It's so good. See, they're complex. Fuck, he's so good, what the hell? Alright, so right there. <laughs> so right there you have a very clear Oh, and so no nickel. Oh. That's, that's a fucking big. That, that's, that's big. That's big. That's big name Rahat right Fateh there. Ali Khan, right? Yeah. That's actually his, his full name. Yes, that's the one. Uh, but yeah, in, the, in that particular case you're hearing two completely different timbers. Yes, yes. And different approaches to uh, uh, singing itself. Because uh, with a seam, you're, you're hearing more of like a twangier setting of the larynx. Uh, and with Jubin, it's very resonant, it's very chesty, Just it's very weird. here on the, on, on the grounding side of the singing. So uh, that, that amplifies different things with both approaches of singing. So it's, it's hard to tell, right? It, it's hard to tell which one I like the best because the both of them really cool. That's really cool. Oh shit. All right. Oh gosh. Oh, it's so hard. But do they know how to go? No, he just has really gifted larynx. Yeah. Rahat has the, the most flexible male larynx when it comes to this way of singing. It's just naturally, he just like sits really high up. Yep. So that, that gives him so well, much that brightness. advantage. Yeah, that, that brightness that everyone, that the reason why he's so, oh, you know, iconically so known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. <laughs> this is not though. Nuts, nuts. <laughs> And now I would be impressed that the fact that oh, you know some of them are sitting down and all that stuff. But no, mate, welcome to this part of the world. They all learn sitting down yeah, yeah. first. It's like I, I, there was that video of Rahad we checked out when you were away. Ah, uh, yes. It was the most unbelievable performance I've seen. He was sitting down the whole fucking time. Oh yeah, was it at the Nobel Prize? I think that was the one. Yeah. I'm not too sure. Yeah. It was a, a freaking medley of like 13 like 15, minutes long, yeah, 15 something minutes. like that. And he was just sitting down, and just you know, sweating a bit and. Cleaning up, I was still sat down. And, and you're like, playing what the harmonium the at the same time. That, that was something go on, go on. just so wild. 
out of my mind. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Monali. Ah, Monali. <laughs> She's like a baby, isn't she? Rag is the root of it all, right? She's good. Like what was her name? Hadika. Oh, man, money. Hadika. Hadika. I'd love to know more about her. Okay. Because we have to do another Pakistan special. To soon, be completely anyways. honest, the two of them together would make brilliant collab, right? <laughs> would make the most heartbreaking song ever written. Yeah. Like, well, at least accuracy. <laughs> what? It's really interesting, and and that's that's how I understand more and more the more we check out this type of work, especially a cappella work. Uh, that yeah that rag is at the root of it all i mean essentially mm -hmm. rag is the root of everything anyways yes indeed. Um, but you can sort of tell uh, the, the correlation clearer by a dummy like me um if i can tell it then definitely there's the genius that they probably create you know that sort of not maybe created it but taught it or the geniuses that are able to compose with the foundations of rag and still make popular hits out of yeah, that yeah, yeah. understandable for anyone out there in the world regardless of where we come from yeah it's very cool though that's pretty and i think mad. people that i watch because you obviously i mean you guys tell you know it's awesome you guys send us messages and stuff it's like you know i'm fucking watching from the u.s or i'm watching from i don't know korea or the uk France, japan japan and it's like i've never fucking seen this stuff but it's like holy shit it's starting to slowly make sense as well uh -huh. you know? And Thank the, you for being embarking in this journey. Yeah, with us. <laughs> us which, that, that's the crazy thing about all of this that it, it's mental how many sort of yeah people and backgrounds, musical backgrounds, sort of commute together here on the YouTube. Yes, thing. on the YouTube. So, yeah, so it's really cool. But I'd love for them to work together. Yeah, really it would cool. be great, wouldn't it? The vocals are so <sighs> they're awesome. Arman Malik Bilal, I don't Bilal. recognize him. He's very popular in Pakistan though, still. Arman Malik? Yeah. Nice. Oh. He's so good. He's so great. That's what I wish all pop artists were. The world. He reminds me uh, a little bit of uh, Ricky Martin singing. Yeah, that's ballads. what I wish all pop artists had that pedigree of singing. Ah, oh, me too. It Wouldn't would change it be the world. Great? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Amazing creativity. Good man. It's like I just love to sing. Yeah. Oh, oh no! no a bit longer. On, more, more, more. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. Triago Shaw and, and Momina, Momina, who we just. Uh, what was, what was that? Rusta, what's her actual surname? Ah. We just checked around Coke Studios. Coke Studios, yes. Unbelievable. Mate. Incredible. If you haven't seen that, outrageous. And uh, it's one of the best set pieces that Coke Studio, I think, has ever done. The filming, the cinematography and that production itself is just absolutely Ridiculous. crazy. Ridonculous. <laughs> it really was. Anyways, let's have a look at the girls. <laughs> the girls. I can't believe she's, she exists, someone like that exists. I was going to say, isn't she just absolutely enchanting when she sings? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you look at her and she, like, her physical 
like her physique changes. It's so cool. I thought it I, is so strange, isn't it? That's when it like you she's know, magical like, to yeah, watch. Yeah, like some people are just sort of born with it. Like I don't and, know, they 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 were born to do that. They obviously have to develop and do all the hard work and all that stuff. But and the, the thing is, when you see them talking, yeah, you, this person is human. It's real, right? Yeah. This is a normal person, right? Yes, human blood running through their veins, and then they start singing. Then you see that, and then on the you left. see and. It's like what? she morphs into something ethereal. Like her body leaves her. It's like it's amazing. So cool. And she's so world. enchanting to watch. Because she sounds like that. She calling. It's so crazy. She's like a unicorn. No wonder the whole nation is in love with her. I love Mabina as well. Such rounded vows. You see that? What a position. And go back to that ka of the back. Bro, <laughs> this is like levels, singing heaven. Levels, yeah, it's levels. This is beautiful. All that placing. Because they're, they're so melodic, and that's what I mean. Is like there's levels to the game, and these women are at the top. Like they they live there without it, a doubt. It's so crazy, but yeah, Momina is so um, melodic. But she's got a lot of the Western te technique in her singing. Right. So she has a lot of placing, like right back of the soft palate. Her her vowels are rounded. Even on the E sound, that you tend to smile them, and the Ah, they're, they're a bit more smiley. She tends to round them towards the end of the sound, so it creates this really smooth sounding. Perhaps saying uh, Western technique would be wrong, but certainly techniques that you will be that are more prevalent in the West, because you don't see, for example, Shreya's approach to singing yeah, that's prevalent right. in the West. But to say it's Western technique, that's I don't even know what the fuck that means. I totally agree with you. I, I, I that's definitely the wrong way yeah, to say. The West it, is so big. That's true, but I, I suppose like. Um, it, yeah, more prevalent ways of singing here in, in the West. In the West that you notice, because you will not see at all Shreya's approach to singing. And taught generally, commonly, definitely no not. Way. Right? It's no. not definitely not first hand uh, uh, available. You have for to everybody. seek after. That's it, yes. right. That's right. So in, in this particular case, you're seeing two completely sets again of larynx and and colors and approaches to the same timber of voice because they're both very high sopranos, but they. They approach it in different manners, and uh, again, it's it, it's just so cool Amazing. when you see them back to back and it approached in in the same stripped away version, right? It's so cool. I'm loving this video. Holy shit! Arigir Atifa Slam. Let's give Gosh. it a watch. Oh, what a man! It's my favorite singer. Above Yes, sir. I'll send that performance. Bro, do you want to breathe? That was one whole freaking phrase. Just one, one, one single. Yeah. <laughs> that was some incredible breath control. But okay, continue. Because I suppose it's easier because it's like a more of settled. 
Yeah, it's I mean, really not using much energy or anything. Him. Yeah, but I was going to say, Arijit's definitely, it seems at the moment he's the singer that I'm listening to the most <laughs> out of the indie music industry lately. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm just send that performance through. A little biased, a little, a little Not bit. biased. I, <laughs> fucking, what do you mean biased? Have a look at Ativa Slams. <laughs> um, uh, first performance we checked out from him. It wasn't in MTV Unplugged. It was, it was in the Pakistani... It was in the Pakistani podcast with a special. No, we did, we did, we did a Tifa Slam way before. We I know that that was MTV Unplugged, yeah. or maybe that must have been Coke Studios. Coke Studios. But there was one we checked out in the Pakistan special where everyone was Western musicians. Oh yeah. And then he was doing the vocals in a separate booth. You have a look at that, mate, and you tell, and that that's elite music. Oh yeah, well, that was crazy. That's that masters fusion. at oh. work. That so, was insane. Bias my ass. That guy, they're both masters <laughs> at their own shit. Yeah, no, I but agree. <laughs> I would consider them like Adi Jit. Like, I, Ativ is weird because I think of him as like someone who likes to compose uh, classical in the sense of orche or orchestral music. Yes. Right? And Adi Jit seems to like making alternative pop, rock, and, and classical in the Indian sense music. Uh huh. So. It's like two fucking ho different horses, though. Yeah, I totally agree. But weirdly enough, I never noticed kind of their timbers a bit. Yes, similar. it is. It's similar. Yeah, yeah, very similar. But again, I think given the the differences in language um, and the approach to certain throaty uh, yeah. position in the in the diction itself changes also certain edges of the timber. So uh, that's a really cool. Uh, this video really does a really good job of that too. I like cause, it. Yeah, because you can be a soprano you can be a baritone but there are so many shades to that right and so many different approaches to it that language has a huge uh, uh, depiction of where your larynx will sit naturally because they've been taught to do a certain thing so constantly uh, so yeah this is this is a great video for that what language see so Pakistan is Pakistani right the language I, I don't actually know that because it maybe might be speak, more uh, Urdu, too. Urdu as well, right? Yeah. Well, I would imagine, right? So I don't, I don't really know. Um, because you know, a lot of sometimes singing techniques or mannerisms come through the the language. The language. So mm -hmm. let, let us know. As I always say, this is discovery at its very best. We're learning as you know as we go. So please feel free to to drop as much information as you can. Yes. <laughs> नूर है महसूना सा एक आसमां बेताब Full names of singers. And you know, thank you for That's that. That's actually a wonderful Wait, video. This is a music, musics. 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 Props to you. Press the like button. I will. Good on them. That's wonderful. This is really cool, man. I respect only talent. That's right. I I totally agree. You know the 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 depiction of both. How well picked this video is, where the timbre of voices, the different sets of techniques, everything about this video was so enjoyable. Again, we're discovering new things, we're seeing things back to back from one another, depicting differences as well as similarities. This has been such a great let, thing. Let us know um, with some of those performances we asked for. If you yes. could kindly send them through, if you have the links or you know where they were from, and you can help us find them. More than happy to check them out. At and the end of the day, it's checking out new names, new faces, so. Again, don't be don't be shy to share all the information you know about these uh, techniques and, and, and yeah. timbers and things. And if you have anything else to you like us to check out next, leave it also That's in what, the comment section below. Feature Friday is about goodbye. Goodbye.